my name is Jerry Levy, and I am the author of this book, The Quantum Theory of Love and Madness. It's a collection of 14 stories published by Guernica Editions here in Toronto. I run a book club here in the city, and what I like to do at the start of each meeting is present a short bio on the author. And I do that because I think if you know something about the author, you'll probably be able to appreciate their work even more. So I'm going to do that now. I'll tell you how I got started writing in earnest. And it all harkens back to when I was in grade eight. Um, and we had to hand in a short story. Um, and after the stories were graded, Ms. Schuster, uh, the teacher, handed them all back, except for mine. And she came to me and said, Jerry, please see me after class. Well, as a kid, that's the last thing you really want to hear. Um, but I did see her after class, and much to my surprise, she gave me an E for excellent. Um, and moreover, she said to me, you have something really special. You should be a writer. Well, it's really interesting how words like that can stay with a kid their whole life. Um, and that's what happened uh, to me. So fast forward many years. After university, I went into the corporate world and... Um, um, after a number of years, I thought I needed a vacation, so I went to the City of Lights. I went to Paris, and I went there because I had read many of the authors who resided there, especially during the 1920s, like Juna Barnes and Morley Callahan and Scott Fitzgerald and Hemingway. And I went to the same cafes that they went to, um, that they frequented, Le Dumago and um, Café de Flore, and and I had strong coffee and I drank absinthe. And I also went to Shakespeare and Company, the very famous bookstore uh, on the left bank. And the owner of the bookstore, George Whitman, um, he would let you stay there if you told him you were working on something in exchange for stocking shelves. And so I met, uh, I met writers from around the world and George used to call all, all the people who stayed there tumbleweeds, I guess because they were, um, coming in from all around the world. And so for a brief period of time, I thought I was back in 1920s Paris. Well, when I came back to Toronto, I realized my life was not really in balance and that um, I should listen to Miss Schuster, my English teacher from many years ago, and start, start writing again. Um, and so um, I started taking creative writing classes and much to my surprise, my stories got picked up by literary magazines in the US, in Canada, and the UK. And so here we are many years later, and this is my second collection of short stories. I think it's a really interesting, eclectic collection. Um, there's a story um, called Grotesque, about a man who finds a fallen angel uh, in a ravine and decides to cash in on his find. find. Um, there's a story um, about a young woman, and um, she has to decide whether to turn in her arsonist brother. Um, and um, there's also a story called um, uh, Star Child, and it's the story of a um, young man who doesn't speak. Oh, he does speak, but he doesn't talk. Um, he just sings the lyrics to thousands of songs. He's a lyric savant. Anyway, the book is available um, at Indigo, Book City, um, Reno Bray, Foils in the UK, on the Guernica website, and I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.